assalamu alaikum students today our topic is basic scientific skills basic scientific skills help us to understand our surroundings in a better way observations and measurements are basic scientific skills and they are important for everyone to make sense of their daily life activities now students what is science science is all about asking questions testing ideas and trying to explore the world around us it involves trials and errors trying failing and trying again in science you study about the life our space and energy and so much more science always begin with the natural world that you observe and wonder about science includes a way of doing daily life activities observing and recording asking questions putting ideas to test means experiments collection of evidence and drawing conclusions now we will read about measurement what is measurement it helps us to making correct calculations without measurement scientists cannot conduct experiments it has it has importance in farming and engineering construction and many other fields of life measurements are made up of number made up of a number and a unit for example your height might be measured in 190 cm cm is the unit used for measurement now we will discuss about the five physical quantities along with their instruments and common units for measurement first quantity is length and we may, can measure length with the help of ruler measuring tape and its unit is meter now the second quantity is mass we can measure the mass with the help of balance and its quantity is kilogram third unit is time we can measure time with clock or watch its unit is hours minutes or seconds the fourth unit is uh, temperature we can measure temperature with the help of thermometer and its common unit is degree celsius or degree fahrenheit and the last quantity is volume we can measure volume by measuring cylinder and its unit is liter or milliliter do you know students measuring units are sometimes called si units what is si si stands for system international because these units are used around the world so we call it system international units now we will read about microscope microscope is an instrument designed to produce magnified image of an object which are not visible to the naked eye acha here we see the picture of my uh, microscope now student this is eyepiece lens okay it is the top now this is objective lens okay lens near the object these lens are near the object now this is stage uh, where here we place the object and these buttons are used to adjust the image and used to focus the slide on the microscope now we are uh, learning about some common laboratory apparatus Uh, the apparatus which are used in the apparatus is which are used in the laboratories number 1 is beaker it is a cylindrical glass or a plastic vessel this is used to hold chemicals or liquids the second one is conical flask it is used for mixing heating and stirring the liquids the third one is a tripod stand it is used to support and hold various flask beakers and other glassware the fourth one is wire gauze Wire gauze is used to protect glassware from the flame during the heating. The fifth one is test tube. This is relatively slim glass vessels with round bottoms. These are used to hold small quantity of chemicals for heating. The third uh, next one is Bunsen burner. Bunsen burner. It provides as adjustable heat to the experiment. Next one is funnel. It is used to pour liquid. or a grainy substance into the container or container of small opening next is china dish it is it is also known as the evaporating dish it is used to evaporate liquid from the solutions 
now the next topic is common lipotic hazards and their symptoms this is the best part of science to do the best part of science to doing is the doing experiment in the laboratory you can to get the most of your experiment uh, staying uh, safe in uh, staying safe is very important so you must get familiar with the safety symbols so you can avoid laboratory hazards first symbol this symbol shows the attack and destroying living tissues such as skin and eyes this symbol this is poisonous it means that cause can death if swallowed breathed or uh, absorbed by the skin this symbol shows flammable flammable catches fire easily so you should uh, know about these symbols when you uh, when you are working in the lab, uh, laboratory then there are some safety rules uh, for uh, laboratories first of uh, uh, first rule is never touch any operators in the laboratory unless you are told to use it the second rule don't eat or drink in the laboratory the third rule always walk never run in the the fourth one is always wear a lab coat and the safety glasses whenever required the fifth one is never taste or inhale anything such as chemicals gases etc the next one keep all your belongings such as books bags clothing etc away from the flame and the chemicals the next one report all the accident and breakages to your teacher eight clean all the apparatus after uh, it is used and put back into its place now girls this is the exercise first question is choose the correct options this exercise is done for you and you will do it on your book and the second question the true or false statement this will also done on the your books the third question answer the following question briefly i will share the answer with you and you will do it on your notebooks thank you